Let's explore the Conical Phillips Sermont site in northern Alberta to learn more about how water is managed at our SAG-D operations. First of all, it's important to know that Conical Phillips does not use any surface or potable water in the SAG-D process. Potable water is drinking water. It comes from lakes, rivers and streams near the ground surface. At Sermont, non-potable, non-saline groundwater is used. It is not readily drinkable and requires treatment before household, crop or industrial use. The water is sourced from an aquifer hundreds of meters below the surface. This water is pumped to the surface and pipelined to the Sermont Central Processing Facility where the water is treated to remove impurities. All this happens before the water is fed into the steam generators. The steam generators convert the treated water into steam. The steam is piped to the SAG-D well pads through a series of insulated surface pipelines. At the well pads, the steam is injected underground to depths greater than 300 meters to heat the oil. At each well pad, multiple sets of SAG-D well pairs have been drilled into the oil reservoir. These well pairs are located above one another. The upper well is called the injector. It injects steam into the reservoir to heat the oil to a cream-like consistency so that it flows down to the lower well. The lower well is called the producer. The steam injection and oil production happen continuously and at the same time. The steam condenses and turns into hot water. The resulting oil and hot water mixture is piped from the producer well back to the plant to be separated and treated. It is first de-oiled and then softened by removing the magnesium and calcium hardness. The treated water is then reused as feed water for the steam generators. We are required by the regulator to recycle 90% of our water at Sermont Phase 1. To replenish the water retained in the reservoir and consumed as part of the oil sands operations, SAG-D operators need a supply of makeup water. The small percentage of water we can't recycle is disposed of deep into a well in the lower McMurray formation over 400 meters below the surface. We then draw water from the aquifer to replace the water we've disposed of and the process begins again. As you can see, water is an important part of our SAG-D operations. We are committed to further minimizing our use of non-saline groundwater by continuing exploration for suitable saline water sources. In fact, our Sermont Phase II expansion will rely more heavily on saline water. We are also actively pursuing new or enhanced technologies that will help us achieve a greater than 90% recycling rate.